The hip bone is formed by the fusion of three bones, the ilium, the ischium, and the pubis. The names of these bones give rise to the names of the various features of the hip bone. Let's look at these features. This broad bony plate is the wing or ala of the ilium. Its broad roughened edge is the iliac crest, an area where many important muscles attach. The iliac crest ends in front at the anterior superior iliac spine and behind at the posterior superior iliac spine. This is the ischial spine with the greater sciatic notch above it and the lesser sciatic notch below it. This is the ischial tuberosity. The ischial tuberosity is another area where many muscles attach. It's also the part of the hip bone that we sit on. The socket for the hip joint is called the acetabulum. This broad, smooth area is the articular surface. We'll see it again in a minute with the articular cartilage intact. The big hole in the lower part of the hip bone is the obturator foramen. This is the body of the pubis. This is the superior ramus of the pubis. And this is the ischiopubic ramus. This prominence is the pubic tubercle to which the inguinal ligament is attached. So when we look at the hip bone from in front, like this, we see the inner aspect of the ilium and the outer aspect of the pubis and ischium.